Thanks to director Quinn Grisham, musical director Larry D. Pry, movement coach Jamie McKittrick, and the training that students receive at the Webster University Conservatory of Theater Arts, the conservatory has mounted a credible and quite enjoyable production of The Glorious Ones. The Glorious Ones is a musical with book and lyrics by Lynn Ahrens and music by Stephen Flaherty, the team best known for Ragtime, Once on This Island, and Susical. The Glorious Ones is based on a novel by Francine Prose about the historical figure Flaminio Scala and the Commedia dell'arte troupe that he led in Italy beginning in the late 1500s. They made their living performing for the public in the streets and squares and sometimes in aristocratic houses, so they were professionals, and the Commedia dell'arte was the theater of the artists, the professionals. Their performances followed rough outlines, often stories of young lovers whose love was opposed by their elders. They used stock figures, the old miser, the professor, the braggart soldier, the clever servant, the lovers. Sound familiar? They used a song and dance and lots of physical comedy and standard comic routines they could insert whenever they might fit. It was a sketch comedy, partly prepared, partly improvised. You can see its influence in Shakespeare and Moliere and sitcoms and Saturday Night Live. At the conservatory production, Michael Grieve is Flaminio Scala, struggles to hold his troupe together and to maintain the purity of the improvisatory style of theater. Ben Love as miserly old Pantalone, Brennan Noble as flirtatious Columbina, and Jay Stadler as the pedantic Dottori get laughs with the stock postures and movements of their comedia characters without making them inhumanly exaggerated. Rebecca Russell is particularly fine as the historical character Armanda Ragusa and her comic servant role. But we also come to know Armanda herself and her unrequited love for Flaminio Scala, just as backstage we learn who the other actors are, their loves and losses. Just as scripted theater eventually came to supplant the improvisatory commedia, so in this musical, the historically based couple Isabella and Francesco Andrini challenged Scala's authority. Francesco played the clever servant Arlecchino, but his wife had written a play that they persuade Scala to perform. In it, Francesco and Isabella supplant Scala and Columbina as the young lovers. Thus, the tradition evolves and continues. If the score for the Glorious Ones is not the equal of ragtimes, it's more than serviceable, and the conservatory students have the voices to make the most of it. Jordan Lamagna's set places a wheeled commedia stage ready to travel on the stage with backdrops for Italian streets and a royal court. Kathleen Embry bases the costumes and Will Vicari, the hair and makeup, on the Commedia's stock types. Lighting is by Aria Grovner and sound by Marion Ayers. I enjoyed seeing Commedia presented as spontaneous, joyful theater and not as a dry, studied historical recreation. Uh, that's certainly true, but I found the material a little less uh, to my liking than you did. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, let's hear some of this music. Sorry, Jason, Lawrence, you are sorry, we'll be playing all the parts. I am Flamingo Scala, founder and leading actor. Slaps your hand, was 